In this presentation, we will be looking at impedance in a parallel circuit and discussing why you cannot build an impedance triangle. If we look at the circuit the way that it is, we have 1.76 amps of resistive current and 2.5 amps of reactive current. And that gives us a total current of 3.057 amps. In order to calculate impedance for a parallel circuit, it's simply Ohm's law. If we want Z, that's going to be E total, because remember, impedance is the total opposition of current flow. So we're going to use E total and I total. And in this circuit, the way it's designed, that would be 120 volts from the source divided by 3.057 amps of total current. That will give us an impedance of 39.25 ohms. So trying to reflect on series circuits and how the oppositions to current flow add together. In a parallel circuit, any additional branches added into a parallel circuit are going to decrease the overall opposition to current flow, which means that current flow will go up. If we were to try to build an impedance triangle based upon the numbers that we have, we would have 68 ohms of resistance here. We would have 48 ohms of inductive reactance, and then we would have a Z, or impedance, of 39.25. We can't build a triangle out of that. So, in order to try to further demonstrate this point, if we were to add an additional branch into this circuit, and this applies for both inductors or capacitors in parallel with a resistor, if we add an additional branch, and even if we place another inductor here, whatever this ohm value is, whatever the X of L um, for the third branch in the circuit is, the combination of the two will have a lower ohm value than 48. For instance, if we were to um, assign this a value of 20 ohms. And so we had an additional 20 ohms of inductive reactance in this specific circuit. What that would do is it would decrease the overall opposition to current flow. And we would add an additional 6 amps of current flow, increasing the total um, current. If we take a look at adding that 6 amps on, we would now have a triangle that would increase on the reactive side by an additional six and that would give us a new total current flow but when we have less opposition to current flow and more current flow in this case the impedance would end up having to go down so if we had the two values combined um, you can combine the impedances, I'm sorry, um, the inductive reactances, you can combine them uh, using the reciprocal formula or product over the sum. Um, if we were to combine them, the combination of those two, whatever that total is, is going to be some value less than 20. So the total in this case, the X of L total, would be equal to 14.11 ohms. So as you can see, as opposed to just using the 48 ohms of inductive reactants, we've now decreased that value to 14.11. So the overall opposition to current flow has gone down. Current flow has gone up. So this 39.25 um, ohms of impedance would also decrease. So this applies for both inductive and capacitive circuits that are in parallel.